You know, there's a problem in a lot of our lakes right now. Toxic algae blooms causing by an excess nutrient and runoff of the water there. But there's a new system in Lakeland here that's turning that problem into something more positive now. Fox 13's Kylie Jones shows us how algae on Lake Bonnet is being transformed now into renewable energy. On the glistening lakes around Florida, what you might not be able to see is a major health hazard sitting on the surface. We have so many lakes in Florida that are troubled by all the blooms that we have and the increasing amount of sun and heat, making them even worse. Experts say algal blooms in our lakes are a growing problem. We are now at a tipping point where we're seeing more nutrients in the water. While nutrients are good, we need them. Too many of them turn out to be turning into a harmful algal bloom. Dan Levy, the founder of AECOM's algae practice, has been working on the project that you see here at Lake Bonnet for years. We're looking at ways that we can remove nutrients from the water. So what we did is developed and patented an algae harvesting process. Levy says this equipment runs 24-7 in this lake. It skims the water off where the algae typically sits. We can separate the algae from the water by using microbubbles, and that gently brings the algae to the top where we can then scrape it off. These systems then return clean water back into the lake and transform that algae into different forms of renewable energy. We're repurposing that algae as a sustainable agricultural amendment and, more excitingly, as a feedstock for sustainable aviation fuel, sustainable diesel fuel. If the algae is left to bloom in the water, leaders in Lakeland say it becomes toxic to wildlife, contributes to red tide, and can even be deadly to your dogs. This is a way to be able to mitigate if it's scalable, large enough, and there's a place to do it, to get rid of the algae and to a controllable, sustainable level within that lake for so that it's healthy for the wildlife in it. Kylie Jones, Fox 13 News. Kylie, thanks. AECOM says that uh, these systems can also be used for buy solids, sargasm, and food waste. And they're hoping more Florida areas are going to move forward here on similar projects of large bodies of water throughout the state.